Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back, and today we're going to be talking about the new additions to my portfolio. We have Theta, Chainlink, PundiX, Harmony One, VRA, Verosity, B Pro, Cardano, and Wanchain. So I bought all of these pretty much at their best buying spots or entry points, and right now we're seeing some good increases on most of these coins. Obviously, things like B Pro and Theta are currently at their uh, lower end, but you know I do see potential in both of those. Uh, but look, look, I'm going to kind of just take a quick look at the um, you know the price charts themselves as well as the money spent. So. Right now we see Theta as my probably top total value. You see about $2,473 in Theta. If we go to the Theta chart, I bought at a very good spot because if we take a look at the last month, you know, we're seeing this at, you know, 865 or so. That's about when I bought. I believe it was when um, you know, when I was making a lot of videos on Theta. Obviously, I haven't stopped. We're going to continue to make videos on Theta because it's an awesome coin. Uh, but you know, it's one of those coins like I said, I saw the dip um, not really a dip at this point, but this all the rise coming. So I bought some more theta. Obviously, this is not my only portfolio, guys. This is just in the trading account of um, you know my KuCoin account. So I do have a lot more. Obviously, um, you know, I'm not going to disclose where it's all at, but yeah, this is this is my current um, you know newest buys or purchases for my portfolio. So let's take a look more at the theta price. I do believe I bought most of these at around that eight dollar mark. Like I said, uh, I'm not sure exactly you know exactly when I bought it, but it was definitely mid March, and I think it was a pretty good price point. Uh, I can go back and do a average price. I would like to do that actually and get an average price for all of these. But as we jump in theta right now, 72 percent increase in the last month alone. Uh, so I'm making it already pretty good. I would like to see us get back to that 1499 we saw march 24th obviously if i was looking for short-term gains i could have sold there uh, i'm not looking for short short-term gains on this theta i'm looking to hold this one long term i definitely think it's going to continue to go long term and because of that like i said not worried about the 1209 i'm assuming uh you know we'll stay above 12 bucks and we'll continue to rise throughout the rest of late april going into our next coin we do have chain link i have about a thousand one hundred sixty four dollars added of chain link let's go straight into our price chart Chainlink's been doing good things just here recently. Let's give it a refresh. Yeah, about 3271. Uh, it is kind of you know tanking just a little bit since that 3342 we saw today at about 5 a.m. Uh, so we are kind of you know correcting and uh, getting a stable spot there for us. But uh, you know Chainlink's one of those coins that is still looking very very good. Um, this is one I believe I bought when it was like lower 20. So yeah, probably probably March 23rd, March 24th. Uh, it was 2484 around there. Uh, I would have loved to get into some of these coins you know, earlier on this most recent purchase. However, guys, remember, this is my most recent recent purchases. Uh, it wouldn't be, um, you know, my most recent purchases if I was going back to my purchases back in February. So we're talking more about the most recent ones. And this is about a $24.84 or $25 uh, buy-in, I do believe. And so we're seeing it right now at about that $32.71. Obviously, you know, pretty good profit, um, you know, with this most recent increase. Obviously, I could have sold, like I said, again, I could have sold if I'm looking for short, short term gains, I could sell, sell at that uh, 3509. Uh, like I said, though, I am not looking for short, short term gains on any of these coins. I think they're all going to be long term potential. Uh, and because of that, I'm holding on to my chain link and will continue to follow the market. As we go on to the next one, I do have a lot of Pundi X. So I have 1095 USD of Pundi X. So let's go straight into the chart for Pundi X. Unfortunately, I am going to have to use, um, KuCoin's chart here on this one because uh, I don't believe anybody really has the exact pricing on Pundi X. So this is one I actually bought very, very recently. Uh, I think it was about 458 around that range uh, for Pundi X. And we can't actually see a great price chart, unfortunately. This is what we get when we type in Pundi X on KuCoin. But this was one of those coins that was valued around $10. Um, and now we're just seeing an absolute tank go on and, uh, you know, we're at 484 right now. So I haven't made my much money, uh, you know, much money yet, but I do believe this one is going to be a big, big, big game changer. If you guys want to get in a massive potential for, you know, short term gains or even long term gains, Pundi X is definitely going to be an option for you. Uh, do remember guys, I'm not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before investing, but this is about at $4 and 84 cents, like I said. And, uh, you know, it's one of those that was, you know, much, much higher before this token swap. Uh, so they did swap their NXPS uh, for Pundi X, and it was about a 1,000 to 1 swap. So a lot of people confused, a lot of people not knowing how to do it. Um, and because of that, we're seeing Pundi X 
completely tank in price. And I, I grabbed a few, uh, you know, another small bag of Pundi X. Um, and I, I'm very happy with the price it got in, and I'm excited to see where this one goes. I think it could be a very big steal of a price. So we'll continue on now, and hopefully this will bring us straight on back to our trade account. As it does look like it's loading up the trade account, we are now on Harmony 1. A lot of you guys do like Harmony 1. We're about at 834.41 on the most recent uh um, purchase. So we have about 5,878 of those. Uh, so Harmony One's one we've been taking a look at for a while. And this one, again, I think I bought this one around this, you know, what was it? Probably about 16, 15 cents around March 22nd, March 23rd. Most of these I bought in that area. Um, but, you know, I left them on my trading account and I decided to do a quick overview of my most recent purchases and kind of go over how well they've done for me. So about that 14, uh, 14 cent mark, I believe. So Harmony One, unfortunately, did correct. I didn't make much on this one yet. Actually, maybe even lost a little bit. Uh, but you're going to have some losses. Obviously, you're not going to be perfect every time. So Harmony is one of those. I'm sure we'll go back up in price. I'm not too worried about it. Harmony has a lot of potential. And because of that, like I said, I was not worried about buying in at this 14 I think it was 14, 15 cent mark, um, April. It could have been the 11, 12 cent mark, April, uh, March 21st. Not too positive on that, but it was probably between that 12 to 15 cent mark. So I have not made uh, anything back yet. And I do think it was still a good purchase. So we'll continue to watch this. Obviously, in the most recent purchases, you're not going to be able to find, you know, buys back when it was, uh, you know, March 5th or February 17th and you're buying for two cents. These are recent purchases, so they're not always going to be massive increases. Uh, not yet anyway. We will probably do an update on some of these coins um, throughout the rest of April and May, so definitely keep an eye out on uh, some of these coins that I've bought into. Let's see if we uh, we make some money on them. So we go back to Verosity VRA. We do have 678 bucks in there, um, about 13,000 coins of Verosity. Verosity is one that I thought was big, uh, and it's definitely paid off for me. Um, you know, I bought in, I believe it was a right around that, what was it, March 23rd, probably around there. So about one to two cents. So we're seeing obviously over a two X already. Verosity is definitely one of those coins to keep an eye out on. Um, it could continue to increase or if it dips down, you could have a good entry point to jump in on Verosity. Like I said, Verosity was one of my, one of my better buys for the short term gains and uh, hopefully long term gains as well. You guys can tell here, I do spread it out quite thin. So, you know, it was a small bag purchased pretty much of everything. Um, Everything I had in my mind on at that point in time. We do see about, I don't even know, six thousand dollars, seven thousand I don't know, seven thousand dollars spent maybe, six thousand dollars spent. So it was not a crazy, crazy buy, but I definitely wanted to buy a few different things, make sure I was invested in um, you know, a few things that I haven't already I mean, I wasn't already invested in uh things like VRA and uh Harmony One is definitely a new one that I've not actually invested in before, believe it or not. Um, I do have pretty much everything else, Theta, Chainlink, Pundi X, I bought those lower. Uh, ADA, I've bought lower, obviously, and just a bunch of these I've bought a much, much lower. But, you know, for the most part, Harmony and, uh, like I said, VRA are two that these are the only bags I have, which is surprising to a lot of people, I'm sure. About $834 of Harmony 1 and $678 of VRA. I do wish I bought more VRA, I will say specifically, because I think VRA is going to be huge. I think I will uh, kind of eye the VRA line for another dip. Hopefully, I find a good dip and uh, jump in at that entry point. So next, we have B Pro. This was, uh, you know, another one that uh, didn't go fully well for me. If we take a look back, I think it was, you know, March 24th, March 23rd, I'm not, or 25th, I think I said. So about two cents. Uh, so it's not looking great for me. Uh, unfortunately, we are, you know, losing on that one as well. Uh, so Harmony 1 and B Pro being my two losses right now. Uh, but the other ones are up pretty good, and I suspect it'll continue. We do see a 160% increase on B Pro over the last month alone. So I do think we will have good months coming. Um, but, you know, I think B Pro will still be a good buy after, you know, we kind of push through this, through this hard spot. And I think we will definitely push through it. So, you know, just a risky bag to buy, but I was all for it. So B Pro, I'll continue to hold through the long term and see what happens with my uh, $655 of B Pro. Next, we have Cardano, uh, about $427, 329 coins of Cardano. Cardano obviously doing its most recent pump, um, you know, to a dollar thirty. So I did buy this one as well around that March 25th mark. So obviously a very good buy. 
uh, about a dollar oh nine. I was very happy with this purchase, so we'll continue to watch this one and see what happens. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun to continue to watch some of these on the short-term gains as well as long-term gains. Obviously, anytime you're making money, it's fun. But uh, you know, pretty much every coin I bought is making money. I would say you know those two Harmony and BPRO are the only ones right now that have not. Um, so we'll go over the statistics on that here in a second. But Wanchain, obviously uh, another one that I did buy a very small bag, $259 worth of Wanchain just to have it. Um, really, I mean, I think I split one of the uh, one of the bags to just grab some Wanchain because I believed in it, and thankfully I did because we're seeing it, you know. I think it was the 24th, 25th, like I said. So about a dollar fourteen, dollar fifteen, dollar eighteen, maybe. Um, but now we're seeing at that 227. So it was a very good purchase. Obviously, it had an all-time high around that 263. So a lot of potential behind Wan Chain. If you don't know what Wan Chain is, definitely take a look at it. It could still be an under, kind of undervalued gem as the market cap is still only at 382 uh, million dollars, and that volume is only at 70.5 million. So a very, very good possible gem there. Uh, let's go back to KuCoin again, though. That was my brief overview of uh, you know all the coins that I bought in small bags this last, uh, I think it was last March, you know, around that 24th, 25th range for the most part. So you know these are the bags I bought. Um, I will be moving them out of this uh, this account now, obviously, um, to a new spot. But I do think this is going to, you know, it's going to be a good bag to watch. I think a lot of these coins, I do think there's a lot of risk in some of them, and then obviously some like Chainlink, I don't believe there's much risk. So I'll go over quickly what I think has the most potential, has the most risk, and then you know some that I love to just see long term and hold forever. Uh, so my holds forever pretty much are going to be Cardano, obviously, and Chainlink and Theta. I think those are going to be long, 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 long term holds. I think things like Verosity, uh, you know, it's a little bit more risky, uh, but I do think Verosity specifically ours is going to succeed. B Pro is probably one of my riskiest moves. Um, B Pro could continue to tank. It's really unfortunately uncertain at this point. I think uh, you know for the most part I still believe in it, so I will continue to hold. Um, Wan Chain, another one that's somewhat risky. When I bought right now, it's looking really good. Obviously, like a good move, but uh, you know it's going to be a long term hold as well. I think all these I'm going to hold long term. Uh, but the riskiest buys was definitely Pundi X, B Pro, and uh, VRA in Wan Chain for me. I think those are going to be the risky ones to keep an eye out on. I think Harmony One will correct itself, um, and we'll see an incline on Harmony One here in the future, hopefully. But like I said. Pundi X is one of those risky buys as well. We're seeing it. I think I said about it at like 450, 460. So hopefully we'll continue to see it rise right now. It's at like 480. It was yesterday, I think at like 540. So it's jumping all around. If you're looking to buy the Pundi X token, um, make sure to buy the obviously the new one, not the NPXS. I don't know if you can even buy that one at this point, but KuCoin does have the new token uh, ready for you to purchase. So it's definitely keep an eye out on the Pundi X. I think it's going to be a big buy for a lot of people. But that was just a brief overview, like I said, of my current and crypto buys of the last couple weeks, or I guess uh, it's been the last couple weeks, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my buys of the uh, last couple weeks. Thank you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed this episode or video, I guess, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and like the video and comment and let me know what maybe bag I may have missed out on. And I'll take a look and maybe that'll be in my next purchase and talk more about that one. Thank you guys, like I said, so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one.